Okay, so I'll I'll just start the recording here uh, while we wait for the rendering. And then, okay, let's. Um, this All is right. One thing I always ask my mm -hmm. uh, coaching students, um, just you know, to begin with, like, what do you think are your issues, and also like, you know, why. All right. So, um, whenever you're ready, whenever you hit that record button. Oh yeah, I I already did. All right. So, um, my biggest issue would be that I um, I tend to make the right call, but just a little bit too late, or that's my that's my guessing. And actually, my my biggest problem is that I don't know if I'm making a mistake. Which is kind of, uh, kind of a bad problem to have because if I had the skills required to recognize my mistakes, I would make way less of those. So that's why I wanted someone to review my footage because, for example, there's one of these games I get insanely fed, and I'm thinking that that maybe shouldn't have happened because maybe I made lots of bad choices, but it turns out I got fed. Another problem I have is that I don't know what to do with leads. Uh, I can get a lead and then uh, completely squander it. Okay, so... Another, yep. Let me know if this is an accurate sort of statement um, mm -hmm. for like how you're feeling. You, you don't know certain mm -hmm. things, but you know that you don't know. Yeah, that's that. Right. That and is. You're struggling. Expensive. Yeah, you're struggling with crossing that sort of bridge to like. It's like you're okay. You know that you've got an inadequacy. It's just you don't know how to fix it. That sort of thing. Exactly. Exactly. What I feel is that I, I am based. I am lacking a solid base upon which to build. Right. To build on. Right. I I know fragments of what would be the ideal play. But I don't know the patterns behind um, those good decisions, and I don't know the um, what would you call it. Um, sometimes I feel like I know the opt optimal play, but I don't even. I'm not even sure why. Okay. Why I feel. You will see when yeah. when we review the footage, you will see more clearly. Yeah, because I have lots of questions. So, okay, so mm -hmm. I, I have. Um, this is cool because this is something that I I talk about quite often, uh, especially mm -hmm. with like coaching students. So, when you say the word optimal, can you describe optimal for me? Um, right. Like mm -hmm. when you say like optimal play, like I think I can make. All right, it, or I think I am. so. Um... Uh, let me say it in fight in fighting game term, uh, terms because mm -hmm. that's the easiest way for me. Perfect. If an opponent makes a mistake, for each mistake the opponent makes, there is an optimal punish. In most fighting games, it's just how much damage can you get out of that punish. That's perfect. Let me stop you right there. You said something that's really, really good, and we, we want to try to translate that to league. So you said... In, in, in fighting games, let's say they make a misstep, they jump a little bit too early, or they mm -hmm. don't block something. There's an optimal yeah. set of buttons that you can press in order to maximize damage, right? Exactly. So, so optimal can be defined as like doing the most damage to them, right? But there's right. some other factors. Let's say doing the most damage, but also having the best continuation. Let's say you did. The most damage, yeah. plus maybe after, in the next five seconds, you have, I don't know, like three, four options to continue punishing them. Maybe you chain them into something, right? Like exactly, some other exactly. Right, perfect. So we have damage, we have the follow-up, right? And then maybe we have like a mental edge or something, something that can give yeah, us... Yeah, uh, exactly, kind of exactly. Game. Yeah. Exactly, okay. you get... And that's where... Um games become ambiguous it's not chess in chess there's always an optimal play because right. there's chess is a it's just what we call in in math a solved game mm -hmm. it is solved we know that there's mm -hmm. an optimal move we, we just humans might not know what it is in fighting games that's ambiguous because you can sacrifice damage for a positional advantage right so in league it's the same it's just that i don't know how much i should value i don't know gold 
exp map control in relation right, to each other right so so this is this is really nice um you're very intelligent this is a really good uh, uh i guess factor Thanks. when it comes to when it comes to coaching and the reason why i'm gonna pay attention to this is um i don't want you to feel as if i'm like patronizing you i recognize that you already know the theories right you play at a high mm -hmm. level or at least you have a high level of understanding for games to begin with so the reason i want you to understand my intent when i when i say things that refer to this sort of uh theory perspective i want you to answer the questions that i uh, mm -hmm. that i ask you and like they're never going to be trick questions they're going to be very simple and the reason why i ask you these things the intent behind it is to build habits so you're basing your optimal play in a fighting game off of damage and all those other factors we can base our league of legends gameplay off of the same things like you said gold mm -hmm. exp and maybe something intangible like uh you know map control right that's like you said i agree with you it's uh it's tough to kind of measure that right there's no like pers like there's no point value for like mm -hmm. vision imagine every pixel of vision exactly. you had they gave you like one point you know what i mean maybe then we can quantify map control and stuff but like maybe some positions you don't really care like you don't care about seeing your own nexus you could technically technically never see your nexus you'll be fine like 99 percent of the game right so like there's different values that we can assign the difficulty in league like you said you don't have that base right and the base you know you can let me know if you agree with this definition the base that you want is this ability to put a number value on everything that's going on at the at any given moment and then choose the path that you know leads you to the most amount of value right exactly. like the biggest amount exactly. of points right what i lack is the ability to estimate um the value of any given option right, right. it's because right at least for me a league is like poker yeah you have to yeah. take calculated risks it's yeah. just that i cannot calculate them perfect okay so so i i love doing this kind of coaching where it's like you know i don't have to build up the theory you already know it and now it's just about you know habits about how do you mm -hmm. how do you actually start building that base this is really Good. cool to me. So once we can pull up the game, it'll be a little bit easier when we have like a. a I think there. we already can. It's okay. uh, we, it's only it's only one. at least game four. The first link I gave you. This video, I think that it says this video contains content from the Orchard Music. It was blocked <laughs> it in your country on copyright. Oh games. yeah, of course. Yes, I was playing music. Uh, yeah, you should you you should have it muted. Yes, uh, I was listening to music. In it's the just it's unavailable uh, unavailable though, so it doesn't let me see it. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Let Let's me, try the second let link. Me check. If you wanna. No, it check. also has music. <laughs> uh, let me. But I think that I can mute it from YouTube yeah, from itself. YouTube. Okay. I can mute it. I can straight up mute it. Uh, That's funny. There's an edit. There's a built-in editor, and I think I can just delete to, the audio. To, yeah, right? delete the audio. Like I can, I think. Mm -hmm. So one additional thing that's really difficult about League is like not only do you have to be able to do that in your brain, but it's also like knowing your champions, knowing your abilities, cooldowns, things like that. The small details that aren't really mm -hmm. small, right? Like they add up over time. Those things are something that I'd probably focus on more. You said you were you were bronze, I think? Literally bronze. Literally yes. bronze. Yeah, that's totally fine. Uh, how long have you been playing? <laughs> For a long time. For oh. a, like a really long time. I've I've been playing like for fun for years. And th that bugs me because I have <laughs> I, I have almost encyclopedic uh, knowledge of of league trivia. <laughs> but, but but I don't know the cooldowns. I don't know the cooldowns of stuff. Right. But yeah, I've been playing casually for a long time and I've dabbled in trying to, you know, um become better at the game. Mm -hmm. But uh, it wasn't at, at the right time. I had either too much work, stress or whatever. Right. But now I'm I'm in a I'm a I'm in a good place to actually try. But yeah, I'm bronze. I'm literally bronze. Yeah, I mean that's okay. It's honestly more entertaining for me to try to build someone up from the from like closer to the bottom. Sorry, mm -hmm. uh, than it is to like work on refining mechanics, refining certain things. Because uh, I mean, I think that's refining mechanics. I maybe that's something that I, I could do on my own, like doing drills. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh no, no. So, so I actually want to run you through some some basic drills that mm -hmm. you know, like I I remember texting you uh, about. If you yeah, don't mind mode. sitting there for like two hours, three hours. I don't. I right. don't. Oh, okay, perfect. That 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 would be. I think that would be a really, really unique piece of content that could demonstrate mm -hmm. to others. Not only would it help you, but I think it would demonstrate to others the maybe you know right. the value, right? Of, of doing this I'll, I'll just give you an example of something i might run you through my girlfriend asked mm -hmm. me hey eric you know could you teach me how to kite as an adc so what mm -hmm. i did was i put four i made her put four dummies down in a line and i made her forward kite so like click on the target move forward click on the target move forward yeah and then i made her do it backwards right and i just made her do that a couple of times and i showed her the difference between attack move click and then you know just right clicking and i made her do it until she got it you know it's like just something so simple like that for 10 minutes. It, it, it got her a lot better at All right. know, her precision, that kind of stuff. So for you, what I would do is mm -hmm. you want to play a champion, you want to play classics, you want to play whatever, run that, you know, run that clear, get that clear All down. Right. You know, it has to be consistent. It has to, even All right, in, you know, yeah. uh, I'm already doing a practice lobby. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just show me, uh, show me your screen. I'm, I'm down to see this. All right. All uh, right, making sure there's no data here. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to coach a streamer as well, so you, you know what it's like. All right. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's this. This is what the game sounds like. Wow. All right. Maybe <laughs> game audios. What? That's so funny. I, okay, so I don't play with game sounds, so hearing game sounds is pretty funny. Yeah. And Spanish. <laughs> and he's in Spanish. Sp yeah, yeah. I was like, bueno. So I'm like, He's oh oh change is good right that's what he said yeah I know, I know he's, he says that changes what's, are good actually yeah so. oh what what's like the full line uh, los cambios <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I almost spoke with uh, with an accent the line would be los cambios son buenos los which cambios. means that changes are good yeah los cambios plural. es buenos <laughs> los cambios son buenos son 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 yes that's los that's cambios uh, son buenos. Yep, yes. that would be it. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. It's so fun. It's so fun to interact with someone who actually wants to learn, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like voice impressions. So I don't play the sounds, but I actually do like impressions. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah uh, do the. Are you able to do it in like the Cossacks, like the. Like that kind of voice? Um, <laughs> yeah, but only in, in the privacy in of pri my own home. <laughs> Because um, yeah, while well, while well, I'm waiting for uh, things to spawn, yeah. let's uh, let's learn some I've, binds here. Shift S in order to just teleport yourself. All right. Oh yeah. If you want to get some. So I know. Anyway, I'm gonna mute the game. Yeah. Oh uh, no no. I, I, straight up, worry. I can I can mute it as well. Uh, I'm just gonna yeah. lower it because okay. uh, it's really loud. Coming yeah. Control. I believe Control Shift J spawns your camps unless you want to wait for it. Oh <coughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's just you know, let's just take a look, look through some things that we could do. Yeah, and even even I won't get every single one of my clears perfect, but as long as you have something pretty consistent, I'm not gonna you know make too many criticisms. Uh huh. So one thing, if you want to just really quickly reset your camp, it's fine. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Um, we should have made right. Yeah, just reset it and go somewhere else. One thing that I notice immediately is when you're when you're kiting, or actually, we'll mm -hmm. start with this. What do you think you could have done better there? You can refresh your um, and everything, right? Here's the thing. Um, I'm not quite sure. Not quite. If I had to take a guess, I would say that I either, either overkite or don't kite enough. So uh, it's, it's, it seems like I don't kite intentionally because the idea of kiting would be to minimize the damage I take from the monster while mm -hmm. uh, outputting uh, optimal damage right. and waiting for my cooldowns. Okay, right? that's that's a that's a great answer. So. What you did there was you dragged it out to the edge of the patient, somewhere close there. But what you were doing was you were staying within its auto attack range, but you were moving up and down. So you were kind of over kiting and also not kiting enough. Do you do you know what I mean? Yeah. So let's yeah. try that again. Let's try that I'm again. Getting none but... of the benefits of kiting. You, exactly. Yeah, okay. It's still hitting you, right? All right. So, so let me yeah. let me try again. Try to try to do like a circle, right? Like make make a yeah, just just any sort of movement. Use a bit more of the range. This is good. So you're dodging, but you missed a little bit of an auto. You're a little bit slow in your autos. Yeah, but this is a lot more intentional. This is a lot better for sure. You want to make it move a little bit more. Don't kill it. Make sure to not kill it. 
All right. Yeah. And then, so you can shift this, you can teleport somewhere else, and you can just teleport back if you'd like. Yeah, and keep your health up. Perfect. All right. Just let it... Uh... Actually, I would like to um, to be able to check to how okay. much health yeah, do I That's good. So I keep? you see the patience range, right? Try to bring it yep. like right to the edge and then kite it along the edge and do that kind of circle now. All right. Oh, yeah. okay. I see. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you're getting your autos every time. Stay within it. It's hard balancing it, right? Like moving and hitting. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah you'll, you'll, you'll get to know exactly where you can put it as you do this. Yeah. Okay, go again. You just reset it. All right. Yeah, one thing but I'm gonna what do... I don't... Okay. Um, what I want to know is, could you, under... uh, could you please explain to me how does the... Patience, uh, the patience zone. Can you see my cursor? Yeah, I can see. Uh, wait, how move does it around that? In the center? Oh, actually, I cannot. Ah, oh, you cannot. All right. Yeah, but um, I could imagine. Like, uh, you all know, right. Just... So, what I wanted to ask is, how does, how exactly does the patience of the monster come into play when kiting? Because from what I gather, it's just uh, hitting him and yeah. hitting it, and then walking away, hitting it and walking away. So right. how does the the edge of his area interact with that? With with the idea of kiting? Well, yep. it, it just sets the boundary, right? Of like how far... Ah, okay, go. so it's... it's All right, because... Yeah, when you told me that uh, I should kite it like around the edge, um, I, I oh, was thinking oh, okay. that... Yep. Yeah, I get what you mean. So it, it, it won't always help you, but I was just trying to get you to move around as much as you can, just to practice okay. the, the idea of keeping it in range, making mm -hmm. sure you're maximizing DPS, right? But also minimizing how much damage you're taking. All right. That's why I was making you play to the edge. But you okay. actually should be doing this on a lot of camps. All right. Let me, let me take a stab at it again. Yeah. Make sure you're getting your auto. You missed an auto there. Yeah, auto Q. Remember your Q. Yep. Don't interrupt an auto just to get a Q. Let an auto go through. It's good. It's good. You have a tiny bit more of a delay between your autos than you should. One thing I can do is I can load up the game right now and I can do the exact same thing if you would like to maybe yeah, get a sure, example. Sure thing. Uh... An example will be uh, will be perfect, actually. Yeah. There are really highly optimized, um, what's it called, uh, like clear patterns that you can you mm -hmm. know, observe. Like I'll be the first one to admit that, like you know, I don't have everything down, but I'll just demonstrate to you, or hopefully I can demonstrate to you, uh, just a, you know, a good example of this. Let me pull up my game, hmm. and then I'll screen share it. This is cool. This is really cool for me. It's also like a reinforcement, too. you know, like. Oh shit, am I paying attention? <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay. Let me know when you can see my game. Alright. Alright, okay, I can see it already. Okay, should be good. Just gonna make sure it's up for my stream as well. Or my All recording right. rather. Capture. You go legends. Alright, you can see it, right? Yep, perfectly. So let's just get that. So let's just do the same clear. I just want you to observe, mm -hmm. right? I'm gonna try to get every single auto attack as soon as I can. See how I stalled its auto right there? Mm, yeah, I think, could you do it again? Yeah, of course. Just go again. I got fully reset it. All right, here we go. Yeah, every time it it tries All to right, auto attack, I see, I see it. I'm making it take a step. Or, oh, I missed an auto. There you go, right? A couple cases it. where it'll reset. There's not much, there's not as long as a uh, cooldown between my auto attacks. Right. Uh, as so I thought there would be. One thing that you did was mm -hmm. you auto attacked it, you dragged it out, and then you came back to it. 
One one telltale sign that you're doing this perfectly is anytime you click. Yeah, it, you don't have to walk back, right? Um, like if you're doing it fine, you shouldn't have to walk back. Uh, in a way, yeah. There, there's some visual indicators. One thing is like okay. if you if you click back too early, Kha'Zix uh -huh. will stand still and he won't be able to auto attack like this, right? Like he'll just stand uh, still. Yeah, yeah. But just because you get your auto attack the moment it's up doesn't necessarily mean that you kited it perfectly. You know, it's do do oh. do you know what I mean? It's like uh, I'll just give you an example, right? Like a hopefully a perfect example. All right, but well, I did not know that. I thought that kiting perfectly was just. As long as dragging the, the monster, attack, right? yes. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. So I'll give you an example, right? If we go off the definition that kiting perfectly is you getting your auto attack as long as um as you click on it, I'll give mm -hmm. you I'll give you an example that fits that de definition. Uh, auto attacking it, I'm walking around, I'm not hitting it. Oh, my auto attack was up, right? But like you no, can kind of no, tell. But, but like, what 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 I meant was that um as long as you do not lose any DPS. You're kiting um, optimally. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, you have to get your auto attack as soon as it's up. I'll give you an yeah. example of okay. you waiting. Um, I'll, I'll give an example of like bad kiting both ways. You're kiting too quickly and not long enough, and you're uh -huh. kiting too long. Okay, so this is this is kiting too too quickly. Yep. It's not. It's not. And you know, you're waiting for your auto attack. You're not. You're not yeah, really you don't lose DPS, yeah. but the monster hits yeah. you. And this a is lot, kiting too long. All right. This is kind of And you lose DPS. You need to get okay. a perfect, a perfect balance. All right. Kind of like this. Cool. So it's a okay. finesse game. Yeah, it's a game of finesse. All right. Let's let's see you do it. All right. I'm gonna take a stab at it. Gotcha. If you want to put your screen up. All right. Uh, can you see my screen? Can you see my? Yep. Let All me... right. Uh, I think I will first try to just kite it with auto attacks, and then I will um, throw in some cues. Okay, throw in some cues. Okay, so that was uh... yeah, a little hmm. bit, a little bit too long. Yep, yeah, a little bit too long. Yeah, it's a feeling thing, you know. Yep, it's like a just frame. What's that? Uh, it's oh, um, it's uh, then again, it's uh, fighting game terminology. A just frame is uh, I'll generally one of those moves, moves if you describe yeah, it. One of one of okay, a just frame is a move that you have to input perfectly, like, <clears throat> like, uh, well, like just on that one frame <laughs> and the, on that one frame, exactly. You have to input the the punch, for example, in a one frame window. Right. And if you don't do it, an underpowered version of the move comes out. Oh. And it's a feeling thing. It's a muscle memory thing. Right. It's also like covering windows. It's like you, you got to put this punch in at the exact time so that it lasts for like 15 frames and their dodge lasts for 10 frames and you can cover it, you know, that kind of shit. You have like five frame leeway. Yeah. That sort of idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could apply something. We missed an auto there. I did. Nice. As long as you're making it take a step. All right. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, so, I kite it too long. So uh, yep. when, when you kite in a circle, you want to kite in a bit of a bigger circle, if all possible. Right. Yeah, because right, what you're right. doing is you're going from one side to the other. You actually do want to be dragging it towards you and not just making <clears> it turn. But you kind of want to do both right. at the same time. This is fine with grapes <clears> as well. All right. I'll try to... All right. So I lost the PS there I too early. A little bit too long. I think that was good. No, that was too long. Walking through the road was a little too long. That was good. Too long. Good. Ooh, one. Yeah, you see how you're going to the right there and it still hits you, right? Yep. You're making yep. a turn. Yep. You want it, yeah. But I. I'm not doing it, but I am getting the I'm I'm yeah get the feel for it. I'm no, starting perfect. to recon uh, yeah I'm getting yeah. the feel for it. I'm starting to recognize when I'm doing it. Yeah. Before okay. you start the camp, could you click in the bottom left there on Cossack's face the the green icon that shows me the stats? Yeah, yeah. I don't have any attack speed no rooms. Attack speed, right. right. It's, it's I, same same as you. Same as you. It should be should be exactly the same. Oh, uh, I might have had my pike runes on. Oops. Uh, yes, I know you run attack speed runes, but 
for some reason in, in this practice mode, you were at 0.67. Oh, <laughs> I messed up. I messed up. So we, we might want to restart and just get you used to uh, attack speed runes. Because right. there's almost uh, no... Okay. The only jungle champions that would take to adapt it would be like Talia and like Cardinus. Right? Most oh, of the time okay. you will be doing attack speed. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that's well... <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll do the same thing, but with attack speed runes. Oh shit, I almost got <laughs> a, a, a rank game out of. I saw that. <laughs> out of habit. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Um, Let's write a countdown. Yes. And. Uh, you can go into detailed view here in the, in the bottom left if you want to go ahead and click the, uh, the nine. Uh, what? Yeah, go into the runes again. Yeah. In the bottom left there, do you see the uh, detailed view? Yeah, right there. This will help you a lot with doing your runes quickly. It'll also give you like more information. I don't know if you prefer that, um, but I would recommend that. Um, but are you seeing it? Yeah, yeah. You, you can see it. Uh, I actually like the having the descriptions. Um, oh, I, meant, I just meant the, the grid view. Um, in any case, yeah. I'll... Uh, you you meant that, right? Yes, yes. yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I ah, yeah. Some, uh, yeah, uh, we, were, we were talking about this at the beginning of the practice mode. Um, it's completely off topic, but we were talking about impressions. And I I joined a few classes as a, classes as a, for voice acting because I really like that. Oh, really? I really like voice acting. Yeah, and a yeah. lot of my videos include impressions. Uh, that's that's cool because so. uh, you know in the past uh, people tell me I have a deep voice, right? And they were like, "Oh, can you can you do an impression?" I'm like, "Sure." I know like Zed and Kha'Zix and like Jin. <laughs> I don't know what anyone else sounds like. I ca I kind of know what Jarvan sounds like off of like recordings and stuff. Now, let's see it. Nice. That that's pretty good right there. Ooh, you're still doing the thing where you're making it turn. Okay, it took yep. a step at least. Okay, a little bit further out. Okay, as long as it's taking a step, you know, it's not auto-attacking you immediately. Oh, I didn't do it right there. What you could do is you could buy an attack move click and, and you know you could utilize that as well. I see that you're doing that. Nice. Let's let's put in the queue now. Um uh, if you want to reset this. Alright. All right, uh, let me do it. Oh, still changing it. I think okay. Control Shift O speeds up the game as well. If you want to, let's quickly reset it. Um, here we go. Control Shift and speeds up the game. Control Shift O. Ah, Control Shift O. All right. Yeah. Ah, cool, cool. Yeah. If okay. You reset it. That's good to know. Uh... Oh, too long. Pull it out a little bit more to the top when you go for that circle. All right. Too long? Yeah, too long. So your, your pathing is kind of like a, like a pentagon or like a hexagon. Uh, one issue with that is mm -hmm. when you're moving like that, you're, you know, you're making the blue buff Sometimes it'll take a step, but sometimes it just turns around to hit you. Try to do more of like an octagon. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you want to draw an yeah, octagon okay, right here? Okay, okay, okay. In the pit, no, yeah. Yeah, the more it resembles a circle, the better, actually. Yeah, actually, don't, right? don't hit it. Just kind of do it with your mouse. Just kind of move in an octagon pattern. Yeah, just a little bit more smooth. Yeah. And, well, there's no, uh, there's no path around here, so yeah. I guess. I yeah, yeah, just path something. around here. Sure, sure. And then right. Yeah, so so try to click like that instead. Um just that might help you with this uh just this camp in particular. Alright. Yeah. So keep I have to keep in mind basically around his uh patience perimeter, right? Yeah, you have a little bit more space to play with, that's for sure. Than you All right. think. Uh, you know, they, they made yeah. the game really Really easy to tell. Like you can just literally see the circle. Okay. Okay. I'll try it again. Yeah. Uh, but I'm level two. No, that's totally Do fine. I have that's a, totally fine. Uh, okay. It's just he general... doesn't get attack speed per level, right? Uh, everyone does. 
but that's totally fine. Right. Try with the Q as well. I mean, let's just say you're coming from red to yeah. This is yep. this is way better. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, a little bit more of a circle. Exactly, exactly. Nice. Let's kill our W as well. Let's try on the ground now. All right. So, yeah. so the grump is kind of tough. Range. The grump mm -hmm. is kind of tough because you have to kite it up and down, up and down. And you can't right. exactly do a circle because it's slightly ranged. Yep. So uh, the path would be around here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice, you made a take step. Yes. Try not to lose DPS, yep. You can use you know, oh, a little lost bit of the a lot of DPS. Oh. Yeah. You can use kind I of the back me. wall there, you know, you can still do somewhat of a circle, but the general idea is it's up and down. Alright. Yeah. Alright. So it's... Don't worry, we won't go through too many of these. It's just like something okay. that you can practice uh, by yourself. But you wanna you wanna again, you know, don't mm -hmm. do it too fast, don't do it too slow. Right? Alright, like, it's right. homework. It's homework. Yeah, it's homework. Yeah, okay, perfect. So let's uh Hopefully your thing is processed by now. Uh, it should be. It better be. Um, come on, YouTube. All right. Let me check. Uh, still says it contains the thing. That's so funny. Still not. Still not. Um, huh? All right. I'm so sorry, dude. I'm sorry. No, I, don't worry. Uh, I. I feel like no, we've already gotten. You know, far already, right? Like we're establishing. Well, I'm habits. really glad. I'm really glad. Um, I, it's just that I don't want this to be a waste of time. No, it's not. A waste I'm of time. still processing. Come on, processing the new audio. All right. Um, all right. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't worry about that. I mean, we can always just pick this up uh, a little bit later if you would like as well. Right, I don't mind splicing right. the recordings together and stuff once it's done. Uh, uh, all right. Oh, okay, okay. In that case, oh, that's good. As long as it doesn't hurt your content, no, no. I, I'm good. Uh, and, and I don't want to waste your time either. I was thinking that maybe what we could do is just... Uh, I know it's better if you have the control, but I can just play it in my screen and stream it to you and... Yeah, it, it would be it would be a lot better uh, if it were under my control because I, yep. I use time yep. controls and like I slow it down and speed it up and I can yep. direct. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, another alternative is that I can upload it to Google Drive and uh, I I just have it locally saved. Uh, I like the YouTube time controls. I, I don't have any video player that lets me like speed it up and stuff like that. Right. Okay. That's unfortunate. If you want to just like mute it and then let me know, maybe late later tonight or something. Yeah, that was that's yeah. what I was thinking, uh, just um, yeah. rendering it without audio and uploading it to YouTube. Um, but uh, there's game five, which uh, is not blocked. Maybe we could we could watch game five. Let, yeah, let me see. Click the link and let me check if uh, let me see if this video is private. It's private. No, I don't want to be private. I want it to be private. All right. All right. Uh, oculto. Let's. Uh, oh, oh, let's go. Should be published. Ah, uh, uh, it's partially blocked, but you can nope, you can watch it. it. Can you? Yeah. All right. I've, I've got video. Right. Good. Perfect. Okay. I've got video. Well, in that case, I'm gonna I'm gonna exit the match. Here it is. Let and me know if you can see my screen. Game five. What was game five? Let me check. Cossacks. It was Cossacks. It was Cassex. Yeah. All of them are Cassex, but is this the game where I got fed and I still lost? Right. You said you didn't know how to use your lead. You squandered it a little bit. Yep. Exactly. Okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and take a look. Well, let's. Act, yeah. Let's just go ahead and take a look. So that that's like your statement on this game. It's uh, you know, you got a lead, but you didn't know how to use it. Yeah, yeah. and I, there there will be things that come up. While right. we are, while we are watching, because right. I have like uh, specific <laughs> questions. I don't know mostly about game four, but okay, uh, um, I will. I will. I will remember game five. One thing yep. I'd like to do 
Uh, this will probably mm -hmm. take like uh, maybe an hour if there's a lot. Um, I'm going to basically drill you on your early game. I think the early game is probably the most important thing. That's the most important part, that you can yeah. yes that you can look at right. So many right. small optimizations if you ever want to take notes or if you want to ask anything, something like that. Cool. First all of right. all, I would turn on timestamps. Um, do you know how to do that? Um, timestamps. Yes. Yeah. Your chat timestamps. This lets you basically anytime something happens, it'll tell you what time it has happened. Right. You see how your chat here does not have that. Uh, I'm actually not seeing your screen. Um, oh. I'm not seeing nothing. Uh, uh, I thought you were... Uh, all right. Let me check. Let me check. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay, okay. It's, it's, it's me. I don't... All right. Uh, you can see my screen? So... Oh, yeah. Chat timestamps. So, so that I can, wa I can see the exact timing of uh, flashes and stuff like that. Right, right. right. Exactly. Good. Gonna... Okay, that's good. Okay. Let's just start with that. You're about to mute all. Ah, yeah. So my thought process here is that Belvef can do something which is extremely cheesy, and it's uh, starting Raptors and then invading my blue. I've seen it a couple of times, and I thought uh, maybe I should ward her Raptors so that I know if she's going for that opening. Okay. Um, what do you think about that? Yeah, no, that's that's totally fine. Um, okay, let's think about it from the other person's perspective. Every time you make an action, you have to think about how it can be countered. Okay, mm -hmm. let's say you're the Belveth, and maybe you don't know your Raptors are warded, but you know maybe you're kind of a smart player and you understand that they could ward your Raptors. What do you think the Belveth would do? Uh, I What's think the optimal thing. The optimal thing would be to um, to start red, then go crux, and since wards last for uh, don't think too deep. Do last? Don't think oh, too okay. deep like this. Um, okay, to, to just yeah. not get spotted. That's it. Not get spotted. Okay, how would you do that? You, you gave me an option. You gave me or uh, or start red. Or, yeah. or maybe yeah. That, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking um, if. If she knows her raptors might be warded, mm -hmm. uh, I was thinking maybe she can start top. She can start top. But, That's good. But uh, then again, how important is it for her plan uh, if she's a spotted a raptors? Because if if I know if she starts top, and I know that, I have just as much information, really. Yeah, it's a good it's a good set of information. How about this? When you put a ward down, what do they have? Mm -hmm. What are some options they have against the ward? Uh, they could clear it. How? Too. Uh, she needs a sweeper, and I don't know if she has a sweeper. How would you check that? Uh, she's on a map. I could have uh, tabbed. You could have hit tab. Yep. Why does it tell you? Um, or rather, how does it tell you? Uh, she uh, Map tells me her... Your map. tab, tab. My yeah. tab tells me her items. Uh, right. If she's shown a map, right? How does that work? Um, uh, the tab just tells me uh, the items and the CS uh, she has right. the last time we saw her. What are the conditions for tab to tell you those things? What's the exact? Uh, she has to show on. Um, she has to show on map. You have to see her, right? Yep. So we established that if you see someone, you have perfect information of what they have in terms of yep. their items and mm -hmm. their level and their CS. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And additionally, if we see them, we have access to their HP bar, their mana. What are some things we don't have access to? Um, EXP. EXP. And gold. Gold. Um, These are some things we can infer, but we don't necessarily yeah. have. Ability, yeah. ability cooldown. Ability, yeah, first right. ability. Okay, perfect. So right. this is the really important part. This is the information gathering part, right? Mm -hmm. We understand how it works. We have to see someone, and then once we see them, tab will update. We have to hit tab, and we have to use our eyes to look at them, correct? Yep. That is the exact process that we should go through. So let's just take a look at what you do when you see the Belveth. I should have, oh yeah, should have hit tab. And checked right. if she has a sweeper. Right. 
right. Now I was banking on her being distracted by my team, but still, she 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 basically has seen the war. There's no way she hasn't seen it. Right. So this is so funny because uh, I, I will always repeat this concept of hoping and uh, yeah. hope chess. You know what hope chess is? Um. Yeah, I should not rely on hope. Basically, right. right. I should just. It's yeah, a concept you know. of like, if they can do it, you should probably assume the worst. Okay. Yeah. So this is pretty interesting. Um, do you know how ward and ward cooldowns and sweeper are in like in the early game? You know uh, they they're pretty long. They're pretty long. Yeah. So um... I'll just I'll just give you the hard knowledge. Um, because mm -hmm. this is something that I would expect, you know, a lot of players to know. But basically, if you use your ward like this, you see the cooldown. It's one hundred and seventy eight. Yep. If you use your ward and you back and you swap to a sweeper, the cooldown will not be 178 or whatever it is at the time. It'll actually just go down. It'll go down to a cooldown that will come up when it's 1 minute and 30 into the game. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what this means is if they see you, you know, put down this ward, even if Belveth doesn't have a sweeper, even if she, she has can a just ward, back, yeah. get a sweeper and sweep it. Exactly, exactly. So now right. now this is something that we thought of like I asked you you know, what do they have in response to you dropping ward? Like you said, red, they could start top, or they could sweep it, right? So this yep. is something we have to think about if you're openly going to the wall and dropping the ward. Even if they don't see it, one thing that Belveth could do is sweep it. But even if they do sweep it, you know, maybe you'll know exactly where they are, right? If they sweep it uh -huh. and he starts queuing, or, you know, he's sweeping at 130, well, he must be doing the Raptors, right? It gives us some mm -hmm. information regardless. But it's important to keep in mind that they could just sweep it ahead of time. If she had sweeper just now. And if she had sweeper, she could swipe. She, yeah. What do you mean? What, if I get what you're saying, she, someone, maybe not even Belveth, could sweep it right now. And then I would, I would have no information right. when she starts her clear. Right. Right? Mid lane could easily go sweeper. Supports tend to drop a ward and go sweeper. If the jungler, uh -huh. right, this guy didn't use his ward, he could just come back and sweep this before 1 minute and 30, and then now you yeah. don't know. Exactly. Right. All right. Okay. Just something to keep in mind. We want to think about our plan. It's good. You know, ward the Belveth's Raptors. I don't want to get invaded. Mm -hmm. I want to get cheesed. But you have to keep in mind what they could do and how you can counterplay. So keeping all that in mind, how do you think you could have gotten this sort of information better? Hmm. Well, that's a tough question. Um, yeah, anything. That's I, I uh, huh. maybe I could have. Um, if I if I, if I'm scared of being invaded, I don't need to ward her raptors. I can just ward the river. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you could ward early. Maybe it's you know it's harder for her to sweep, and you know if she walks over it and sweeps it, well, you know, you know she's coming. For for example, that bush, the one with the cursor near it, that would be okay. If I if I ward it there, I will be safe from her cheese. Yeah, even and... the pixel the pixel bush on the right, yeah. Or even the pixel bush, yes. Or just hit tab. Or just, <laughs> just hit tab, yeah. Yeah, or just hit tab. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And just, you know, infer from there. Right. Right? It's like, okay, if okay, two options, right? She has either got sweeper or she's got a ward. Mm -hmm. If we hit tab and we know that she has a ward, she has two options from there. She can either drop the ward back and get a sweeper, or she can just go and get a sweeper. Mm -hmm. Right? If she drops a ward and gets a sweeper, it won't come up until 1.30. But if she doesn't drop a ward and gets a sweeper, she can just scan it immediately. So in either case, as long as she oh, has... Oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I did not know that. When you told me the... Um... That was a that was kind of lost in translation when you were speaking about the the way cooldowns of, of trinket items work. Right. I did not know that. I did not know that the <clears throat> the word trinket affects the cooldown of uh, the sweeper. Oh no, it it doesn't affect it. Is my point. You can uh, you can actually right. drop a ward back, get a sweeper, and it'll be up by one thirty, which is when the camp starts. Ah uh, yes. Oh oh yes. All yeah. right. I, I now I know what you're you're getting to. Yeah. yeah. If she drops a ward and backs. It's not because the sweeper has a cooldown. It's because you know there's a travel time. All right. Yep. Yes. Yes. So so you see how the three there are only three possible continuations. It's either yep. she starts with a ward and she drops it and backs, mm -hmm. 
or she starts with a ward and doesn't drop it and backs right for the sweeper or she has a sweeper in any of those three cases we have to be prepared with a counter response does that make sense yep so what do you think would be the best universal response to them you know keeping in mind the three options and seeing them right here the best universal response to keep yourself uh, safe. <clears throat> well, what would be to check what items does she, uh, she has? Yeah, you start because there. that. Mm, mm, I like because... I like your answer. I like uh, you know if we want to just skip ahead, like I like your answer. Just dropping a defensive wood. Yep. No, I'm, I I think that's a good that's a good uh, response. But is it the best one? That's what I want to know. So there are a lot of cases in you know level one situations where mm -hmm. something that might be the best is not always it may, maybe it doesn't look like the best but it'll entirely depend on what they do so uh because for the most part at level one there's the least variance in league of legends would you agree with me mm -hmm. and because there's the least amount yep. of variance right we can kind of solve like okay you got to do this and then that blah, blah blah but even then even with the least amount of variance available to us we don't have like super surefire winning best optimal cases right there's only kind of like you know maybe they do this maybe they do that so that's why I, right. I would be hesitant on telling you like oh it's best to ward here it's best to ward all right you know all right I mean? that that's actually um a relief yeah. <laughs> that's actually a relief a huge relief because uh, i'm like very critical of my gameplay thinking oh maybe i could have done better here right you can always do better of course but uh, right maybe in that in this case good enough is enough yeah later later on in the game there are like let's say one team has a lead there there is just like a straight up best thing to do like you, you, yep. you do this action no matter what they respond with they're fucked right but like they have uh -huh. a lot of options into you. If you drop a ward level one defensively and they read that, right? They saw you and, and you, you know, maybe go up to a bush. Like they could just go scan that, right? And that wouldn't help you. You could ward yep. even further back, and it's like, okay, maybe that defends you, but it doesn't give you as much information. Is that best? Well, you know, there there are a lot of discussions to have, uh, be had around that. But for the most part, what I would say, one thing to keep in mind, mm -hmm. one takeaway is hit tab check that and think about it right just don't don't just like walk in and throw the ward down all the time for example yeah. what i do is mm -hmm. every almost every game i drop a ward to ward my entrance and i hide it i tuck it in a little bit just to see if they end up warding i don't think it's the best but it it allows me to cover quite a few options and let's what do you mean by hide? you hide it you yeah hide the ward itself yeah do you see my uh cursor yeah i see it yeah, i see so, it so the entrance to the raptors entrance. yeah I, I, I drop the ward here just to make sure I'm checking. Uh, oh, wait, this is not captured my cursor. Let me just put that up. No, it does. It does. I see it. Oh, uh, on my stream. It's fine. I see it. um, so, yeah, walk in, so I can see if someone walks into my raptors. I can see if they drop the ward. I can see if mm -hmm. they go up to the wall and pretend to ward. And I can also go back to our sweeper. So I'm covering right. in case they go and here. And I'm, I'm getting a sweeper in case they actually did drop a ward. If they didn't and I don't suspect it, then I don't have to. Right. And no. why do you why do you like kind of tuck in your ward? It's, is it because if you ward if, just a little bit further, they can see it? Yeah. So if you ward directly right. there and someone walks in with a sweeper, they're just gonna see it. And so oh, right. most oh, of the time, okay, I see. Yeah, okay. most of the time they walk in, they try to sweep uh, in case you drop the ward on your own raptors to like check for them. But I kind of mm -hmm. hide it, you know, so that they have to go around the corner. It's like a All very right. Right like it's a subtle it's a yeah. subtle thing yeah you'll right. you'll rarely avoid the vision but like there's a way to you know basically get the vision that you need while giving them the least chance of finding it right it's, all right so so in that example it might not necessarily be the best but it covers a couple of options right so this is a general idea that we you know, we should cool. we should go in uh into level one all right Thank so you. i dropped the ward and she uh, didn't see it but she could probably defer. Yep. she can see it yeah. And I would take off lock screen as much as possible. You need information, you need to know if you're going. Uh huh. Do you use F keys at all, or do you know what they are? I don't, I don't. I, I think I should, but I'm way too used to just clicking on the map. Yeah. That's one habit we want to build up. You can spawn four training dummies, you can bind your buttons mm -hmm. to the four teammates. I bind it only to mid, top, and support. I don't have anything bound to ADC. Because typically I need to be looking at the support instead. But you know, you could back uh -huh. ADC as well. 
and I would just, you know, while I'm clearing, I would put my four dummies in the, you know, four different positions, and I just go back and forth. All right. If you want to practice, this is good though. You're looking, you know, you're looking at the map and stuff. Checking. Okay. Hmm. What was my thought process here? Yeah. I, what I was thinking is, um, <sighs> Belveth is way stronger than me in early game. I don't want to encounter her. Because my objective in the very early game is just to fall clear and get a serrated Dirk, which is why I take Futures Market. Right. Okay. And if I do that, if I secure a fall clear and scuttle grab, I have just enough gold for a, for a Dirk. Yeah, you get A50 and then you can Futures Market and try to yep. look for it. Yeah. Okay. Right here, what do you, what's an issue with this? Just want to take a look um, at this first. Uh, I won't harp on this too long, but I just want to pay attention. All right. What's an issue with this? Um, just play it in slow. All right. Uh, well, I'm honest, I honestly don't know. I want you to pay attention to your cursor mm -hmm. and your locked screen. This is so funny because I make this exact point against locked screen players. Where's your cursor? It's straight up on the monster. On the what happens when you walk forward? I. Do you notice this? Why did I click on my teammate? Hold on, even slower. All right, pay, pay attention to this click right here. All right, where did I, I go? Click next to the monster. I don't click on the on the monster. All right. And then. Uh... This is maybe like 500 milliseconds, if I had yeah. to take a guess. We missed. Yeah, but we missed a little bit of DPS, but it matters. Yeah, right. it matters. It, it adds up. All right. Right. So, what do we right. want to do I... to fix this? Uh, we could use attack command, attack move. Attack move doesn't work on camps that aren't aggroed to you. All right. Hmm. Well, how about then, your abilities? Uh, yeah, opening with Q. All right, you could spam Q, you could hover your mouse over it, spam Q, mm -hmm. right? Just open up with something, right? Get it going right away. I like that. I like that you look it's good. You don't want to kite when your teammates are leashing unless you both kite together. We'll see that in higher elo. Ooh. If we're going to Krugs, we're wasting a lot of time by not kiting. Ooh. Yep. Yep. So the patience range can go about here. And then yep. you can drag it Waste out a little a bit further. Time. Yeah. Yep. Don't worry. Like th this stuff, like I said, I'm not gonna harp on too much. It's just something that you need to do on your own time and get used to. No, but it, it's it's important because I it is I know important. my I I can optimize a lot of my clear, but I didn't know how much. A lot. Quite. So a lot. it's 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 homework. It's homework. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of kiting. Yes. You know, even, even just a step. That's good. And uh, W to finish off these camps. Yep. Good. Then I move on to my raptors. I like that you look at the map. That's really good. You know, like you're you're actually clicking. I would learn to play without lock screen, personally. Yeah, it's a bad habit. And actually, I don't play with lock screen. It's a way worse thing. I play unlocked, but I keep pressing the center screen button with my thumb. Oh, you're holding uh, it. Space. Yeah, I hold it. I hold it, and uh, everybody is gonna laugh at me. But <laughs> you know, when you keep holding the space bar with your thumb for long periods of time, well, I mean, too bad. You you Unbinded. get you get a repetitive <laughs> stress injury. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, you know, you gotta this, get rid of that habit. This hurt my thumb literally. <laughs> You don't you don't have to cut it. I find it hilarious and it's a good it's good advice for people. Do not do what I do. It literally hurt my thumb. Yeah. That uh that's a bit much. That's funny. I play Tetris and yep. I don't even hit my thumb that much. Yep. So one thing I'd recommend to defeat the habit is unbind this button. Make it useless. Yep. <clears throat> yep. 
Yeah. That's it. That's a good idea. Yeah, so that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. What do you notice about this clear when you go to do the walls? I'm just gonna. I'm, gonna play this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I was literally taking notes, so I wasn't looking Don't. at the screen. No. Nope. Uh, no, it's fine. I'll just repeat it. What do you uh, What do you notice about your wolves clear here? Um. Oh my God! Sorry, my laundry machine is slapping itself. I don't know if no. you can hear that. No, I cannot hear anything. So. Okay, we're good. All good. What do I notice uh, about this? Uh, yeah. I jumped. I jumped uh, thinking that Belveth was not there. <laughs> Let's look uh, a, a lot more literally. Tell me exactly mm -hmm. what happens here. Okay, what happens here? Uh, I don't hit the three walls. Mm. Yeah, I, I miss my E damage on, on one of them. Right. Just noticed it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just one thing to notice. What do you notice about the W? Uh, same thing. It doesn't same hit thing. the the one of the. Oh my. Now that's that about one. two autos worth, right? Yeah. Okay. And two autos yeah. takes maybe one point five seconds, let's say, at most. Yeah. Ooh. You'll notice we had to hit that third wolf twice with autos. Yeah. You hit it once here. Let's see. Once here. Notice your W killed that one up there, and you had to auto yep. again. We just missed two autos. Yeah. Ooh, a little bit of a long kite. I like that you're looking at the map. And uh, here, here I'm hovering. I'm hovering mid because Yasuo's playing it. It's, he's pushing. So I'm thinking, Belveth could gank that. Right. Because I don't know. Uh, because my, my thought process is, Belveth uh, starts red. Uh, Ghost Crux, then Raptors, and not only is Yasuo push pushing, but Belveth should be near him. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to hover for a little bit. Just a little bit, okay. So you spend this time mm -hmm. at 301, you clear the wolves, you walk over there, and you think, I'm gonna go. You stand, you take a step back. 305, you blast yeah, be, 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 yeah, because, because my thought bit. process is mm -hmm. if I've cleared my wolves, which is my fourth camp, then Belveth should have ganked that already. Which means that your hover wouldn't make sense, would it? Exactly, exactly. I realized that my hover was, was not making any sense. Right. And this is what I mean by saying that when I said that I make the right call, but a little bit too late. Because if I had realized that, I wouldn't have waste, wasted that time. Right. How do you think you'd be able to realize this in the middle of the game? What is something that you could do so that you know you can you can apply what you just said here, but in the game? Uh, I have to practice my clear because um, if I get it down uh, to muscle memory, I don't have to think about it. That's good. That's actually a really good answer. Perfect. So then now you can focus on. The fact that oh shit, Bel you know, if I'm on my wolves, my fourth camp, Belveth's on her wolves probably, you know, yeah. just around there. So this hover doesn't make any sense. Yeah, right. and and if I hadn't been consciously thinking about clearing the camp, I think I would have reached that conclusion earlier. Earlier, yes, that's good. Yeah, I would agree with that. What else? What's something else that we can we can do? There's no right answer. I'm just asking. Mm -hmm. What else can we do? Mm -hmm. What could we do ahead of time? Let's say... Uh, what, what could we do to reach that conclusion faster? Yeah. Yeah, one thing is divert more attention to it in your brain, but also... Yeah. How about think, here? Think... Hmm. How do you think that this crux or this area of clearing or even like walking here, how do you think that connects to what you just did at Wolves? This entire time right here. I'll play it through. Hmm. How would this tie into you... You know, in a minute, not making that decision to hover the way you did. Mm. I could use the the time where I'm just walking between camps to, like, think about these things. Yeah, you could. So it's not just the walls, is it? It's it's this entire clear. How about yeah? How about right here? What can you do? Here? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You could still be like, thinking, right? Yep. If I, uh, what do you know about the optimizing map? my clear is it's not only about time; it's about uh, mm -hmm. mental headspace. 
Yeah. What do you What do you notice about the map? I want you to stare at the map. Don't look at the crux. Just look at the map. Mm -hmm. Just tell me anything that yeah, comes to mind. I notice them fighting. I I have warded the Belveth Raptors. The, the Belveth Raptors. I'm, yes. I'm staring at the map. Yes. What do you and What do you notice about the Belveth Raptors? They are still up. Okay. What now? And now, now they're out of vision. No vision, right? But no you vision. knew. You knew up, up until 2.08 mm -hmm. that she had not started the raptors. Do you know exactly how long it takes for Belva to do raptors? She's extremely quick doing raptors. I don't know how long it takes her to do grump, the crux, I mean, but she takes her raptors super fast. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know either. But, <laughs> here's the thing, but at 2.09 we lose vision. Uh -huh. What is the worst case, just, just within the context of Raptors, what is the mm -hmm. worst case scenario when it comes to tracking Belveth? What do we have to start with if we're trying to track where Belveth is? If we're trying to track her, uh, the worst case scenario would be that bot fake leashed and she started top. Oh, no, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm talking about time. In terms uh, of time. time. Yeah. Okay, the worst case scenario is that as soon as they went out of vision, she she reached her raptors yes yes now the likelihood that that happened is pretty low but that is the worst case if yep. at exactly 209 she finished her raptors or sorry she's getting to her raptors and starting it mm -hmm. let's give it about 10 seconds minimum maybe 15 seconds yep. if she's a bit slow to finish raptors mm -hmm. right you know that's a that's a fucking fast raptors by the way that is the worst case right and it, it, it's not it's not gonna happen she you know, she's walking to the Raptors right now. But you can start with the worst case. Like, holy shit, okay, I lost vision. What if she's doing it mm -hmm. right now? What should we be doing? Yeah. What yeah, could we she be? is. What could we be doing? Yeah. Yeah. Anything. You know, I'm uh, not asking like, the best answer. Just throw you me mean everything. hypothetically? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, like. Start with literally yeah. everything that you could do in response. You could scratch I, your nose. You could, I don't know. Yeah, I could, I could go for a camp on my side. I could literally try to invade her blue or her grump. Yeah. Could you? I, I mean, because eh? mm -hmm. if she started her raptors at 209 and we're at 225 right now, you're doing your raptors. Could you actually invade their blue or grump? I mean, I could. I didn't say it was a good decision. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. That, no, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a good decision. Uh, yeah. You can come to that conclusion no. pretty quickly, right? So, how about. What yep. are some of the better options we can take? Let me just give you some suggestions. Uh, All right. Could we ping Yasuo that, hey, you know, Belveth could be right there? Oh, yeah, I could absolutely oh, do that. Uh, okay. and, I, and I didn't think even for a second of communicating with my teammates. Right, because maybe we're too focused on, you know, yeah. our camps, or maybe yeah. we don't... Uh, you see, a lot of people don't play it like it's a team game, right? Because you're only controlling one guy. You don't, you know, maybe your teammates are assholes or whatever. Mm -hmm. But that's just an example, right? This is some of the yep. things that we I could of. ping Yasuo, yes. Right. Yes. Yep. Just ping the location, be like, right. Belveth here, you know? All right, all right. Yeah. Do you see how we got to that? We went from all the random shit that we could do, and then we're landing mm -hmm. on good decisions right away. Good. Right. And how are we doing and that? We're doing it off of information. And I love that because being in Yasuo has no cost. It's free. It's just good. Yeah, communication is free. I mean, he might get tilted, sure, but you could just ping like below him, be like, "Care Belveth, right side." Yeah. Yeah, and thirty seconds after you ping that, you know, what could you do? What, what kind of communication could you have? Thirty seconds after after you do that pinging. initial ping. Yeah. Well, think about it from the Belveth's perspective. Assuming mm -hmm. Belveth actually is on the Raptors, and you ping her on the Raptors, and you say, "Oh, she could be there." In 30 seconds, uh -huh. where's Belveth going to be? Right? Where do, what are some of the options? After I ping her. Ping her. Yeah, yeah, after. Yeah, she could have level 3 gang at mid, or just be pathing, or no, be at the wolves. Yeah, but if, you, if, if she did level 3 gank, you would see that, right? Yeah, I would see that. So if we don't see Belveth, after 30 seconds, you know, when you ping that she's on yeah, the Raptors, where could she, she be? She's at wolves. She could be at wolves. Now where do you ping? Mm -hmm. now, now where do you ping? I would ping the wolves. You ping the wolves. I ping the wolves, and I, I would, I would warn Shen that she's pathing. Yeah, she top could side. go top side. Yeah, and you maybe say yeah. So hey, you know, you could hover to the right side. Two. Uh, yeah. True. Yeah. 
Yeah, this well, is something that well, they should know true. to begin with, but it's not like it's you know. Look at all this time. Let's mm -hmm. take a look. Yeah, I'm not doing anything between camps. So. Yeah, two thirteen. You finish this. Uh, you know, let's yeah, just maybe I look at the map, but I'm yeah. not like you're not saying anything. doing anything with them, with my time. Two thirteen till two twenty one. You have a nice eight seconds. Is eight seconds long? Yeah, that's that's plenty of time. It's a lot of time, right? It's Agreed. Plenty, plenty of time. It's yeah. funny. I've heard that one before. Actually, a lot. You know, everyone agrees with that. Eight seconds is long. It's more than a vine. <laughs> yeah, <it's more> than, <laughs> yes. You can watch a whole ass vine. You can definitely. You can watch a whole ass vine. Yeah. You can. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Belveth has not ganked mid from the right side. All right, you, which means that yeah, which means that when you finish these rolls, you should not walk here. Yeah. Right. There's there's no point. Absolutely no point. Right. So I, this is the thing that I like to do often. I, I go all the way back to the point where you can make this decision to, pre, you know, mm -hmm. to prevent this sort of thing from happening. You see how we got there? Could you summarize yeah. how we came to understand that this hover was bad? Um, what are some of the literal data points that we used in order to come? Okay, to this the the data points are uh, are. Uh, on a very easy level, it's just that if I'm doing my wolves, then Belveth has enough time, has had enough time to reach her wolves. And if if she had that much time, she had enough time to gank Yasuo. Therefore, if she has not ganked him yet, mm. that means that uh, she is full clearing. Right. Or she's hovering for an abnormally long time. This is why high-level jungling is so fun. It's because oh, sometimes yeah. high-level junglers will literally fucking sit there for like two minutes. Okay, not two minutes, but like yeah. 30 seconds, 40 seconds, just to, you know, they throw a mix-up. You know what I mean? Like, you think he's going to guard, but, he, you know, he just like... Yeah, he yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a mix-up. Yeah. I don't think about it. I just... I was... It, yeah, it's a very high-risk yeah. uh, maneuver. Yeah, but we could prepare for that. You know, we could prepare yeah. for that mix-up just in case. Hey, you know, just you know, hover to the left side for twenty seconds. She's on the Raptors. Oh, okay, yeah. twenty seconds yeah, have passed. Exactly. You know, she's on the walls now. Hover to the right exactly. side. Exactly. Yes. Yep. Yes. Good. Exactly. Right. So. And it, and it is a calculated risk because if she hovers for thirty seconds and I tell yes, well, yeah, it's okay. But maybe she hovers for thirty. But seconds, the actually. the expected value of that play goes down every second she spends because yeah, that's a second yeah. that you're spending on your camps yeah. instead. Unless yeah, so the, unless you hover mm -hmm. and you're also wasting time. You see that? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is this is why sometimes people ask like, when do I farm? When do I gank? It's like calculate it. You know, like do the expected value. It's like yeah, what's the value of the gank? How much time should you spend on it in order to make it a good choice? Right? Can you actually get that gank? Right. How about the camp? How much, how much EXP? How much gold? You know what I mean? Sometimes we get into mm -hmm. permagank meta. Sometimes we get into... I mean, right now it's a permagank meta. You have to go bottom, right? Um, but like in the past, you know, like jungle changes always influence this, right? It influences its expected value. If a camp goes up in 10 gold, that's fucking 10 gold, right? Like that'll rack up over time. Even though, you know, it's only one camp. It's like, well, you have four camps yeah. in the jungle, right? Like that kind of stuff. So we're looking at it through data points, okay? Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh. What yeah, just uh, I lost DPS there. I didn't click on the. Uh... Yeah. Yep. Look at your uh... look at your cursor. Yep. All right. Ooh. Let me. Ooh, All right. Why, why did I click there? Why? <laughs> That's a good question, right? Yeah, and that was pointless. We're oh, also a good point of note. Maybe we should. Um, it's not like super league relevant, but it certainly is relevant to my gameplay in specific. Yeah. If we could pause it for a minute. Yeah. yeah. I have massive ADHD and I'm getting treatment. Mm -hmm. And uh, over time, I've I've learned how to deal with it, you know, in life, uh, in all the aspects of my life. I have a work ethic and stuff like that. But when it comes to video games, it yeah. comes back with a vengeance. And I find myself doing things like that, clicking compulsively and uh, clicking where I shouldn't just to be doing something. Right, and that's something I have to deal with myself. Yeah, I I, I don't. Um, well, to the best of my knowledge, I don't have ADHD or anything similar. Mm -hmm. Um, 
And I'm also not like a trained like doctor or anything, so I wouldn't yeah, be able to tell not, you. Not me. I mean, yeah. Me neither. But all. <clears throat> are, sorry, are you asking for advice or are you just like informing me? I am informing. Okay. Okay. Um, be, yeah, because like, okay, to so let you know that I don't think these clicks are okay or optimal it's or, just the, or serve right. any purpose. Yeah. Yeah. So do you want yeah, me but, to uh, not mention them as much because you know it's like you already kind of know or I know. Yeah, I already kind of know. Okay. I don't really kind of know that. Okay. Yeah. It's just I, I think it's good to like just look at them again, maybe reinforce it. It's like let's just you know really focus yeah. on this sort of thing. No. I, and sometimes they go, uh, I don't notice them. So I think we should still mention them. Okay. Yeah. But mm, it's good that I know where it's coming from. What oh, the what the fuck? That's what I was thinking. What the fuck is she what doing the here? Fuck. And <coughs> then I think, and then I chase for a while. And I should have just mm -hmm. thought about it. Like I have no way of reaching her. Right. I First should have all, just dropped it immediately, immediately. Right. Let's take a look at this entire sequence here. Yep. Here I'm thinking, oh, bot is fighting. I'm going to smite right. my cam so that I can reach it. And then I see that the Heimer is super low, so there's no point in me going there. Right. So you know how much damage smite does, right? 600. 600. So when you see this right here, do you think that you need to put in this auto? You actually click no. back. This no, one. because my pet can finish it. Yeah. Right. This is one example of how, you know, lack of kiting. And like, if you wanted to go for the gank, right, ideally you'd be positioned a little bit below here, kiting it mm -hmm. out to patient's range and smiting it, right? Yeah. So we're missing maybe three, <laughs> three four seconds or so. Well, that's time, especially huge. with a step back. That, yeah, that, that is, is huge. huge. That is huge. And if you look at the situation, you know, you could probably assume that he's dead already. Yep. And it, when does when does crab spawn? Uh, three fifty. No, three thirty. Three thirty. What time is it right here? Uh, twenty nine. Three twenty nine. So walk down. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Why was I walking down in the first place? Yep. So we hit it at three thirty six when we could have hit it at. Uh. 3.30. 3.30. We lost maybe six three, four seconds here, seconds. and then six seconds there. Three, I mean, six entire seconds. Well, the th initial seconds ties into the crab, but like, yeah, yeah, in general, we're missing time. How do you, how do you think we can fix this? How do you think we can fix this pathing issue here? Hmm, how? All right. I like what you so, did here. This is the answer. Yeah, checking it earlier. Yep. This is information gathering. We're moving our mm -hmm. map, but we needed to process this fast enough in order to yep. realize that this guy was dead. How do we do that? What are the literal things we can look at? Uh, <laughs> he's basically dead. He's there's basically no, dead. There's HP? no way around it. Uh, he has no HP, very low mana, his turrets are uh, very low, and he's between my two teammates. He is right. dead. He's literally, you know, he's a sandwich right now. Yeah, he's trapped. Yeah, so... Let's let's reduce it down to the most basic data points. HP mm -hmm. and what uh, else? Ten percent and position. Positioning. Yeah. How about mm -hmm. a champion kit? Do you think that's important? Oh yeah, of course that's important. Yeah. Why? Uh, if he were Pike, maybe he would have. Yeah. Been. Yeah. Summoner spells. How about those? Uh, flash. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So you want to be able to calculate that really fucking but fast. But I was, uh, yeah, I remember thinking maybe he can flash. Yeah. And that, still he wouldn't yeah. live. That ties into two, yeah. four, and one, right? Uh huh. His HP is too low if he flashes. Uh, you know, his champion, if, if Heimer could fucking dash like Pike, it'd be funny, but you know, he, he can't. <laughs> yeah, that would, right? that would be funny. Number two, positioning. Flash is 500 uh -huh. units. Morgana is, you know, just about 500 units in front of him. Yeah. There's, oh my there's... god, he Oh he actually could have flashed. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. I oh my know. god. <laughs> Just that there's no way to know what, what's gonna happen. Okay, let's add in another factor. Okay. Uh, I right. did this with uh, my friend. So uh, uh -huh. number five of the factor. Your teammates response. Yeah. What could they do yeah. if he flashes? If he flashes, they could follow his flash. Yeah, they could follow his flash. Um... Depends on where he flashes. Maybe he flashes towards river, um, or just directly towards his turret. In which case, Morgana can just auto and kill him. 
Yeah, flash and auto, maybe. Flash or flash and auto, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a couple of things that we can look at immediately. You see how we can mm -hmm. pause this and think about it? But in the middle of the game, you know, when you're doing this, when you're looking, what's, yep. what's one way to allow us to come to this conclusion that this, this guy, this kid's dead, right? I like what you're doing here. What, what, are, you, what are you doing here? Checking the map. You're looking I'm at literally, it. First, right? Yeah, I'm look, looking so, at it. So to begin with, we're using our eyes, right? We have to look at uh -huh. it. Okay. And then we can start going down the list. We got HP, we got positioning, what abilities are up, summoners. What's one thing to check, number five? You know, our teammates' response. Yeah, our teammates. I know that. Uh, how do we do know, I know what's, that? Well, how do we know what abilities our teammates have? What would we have to do? Yeah, I think I saw. Uh, Morgana using Q, and now she has used yes. her pool, so she has no abilities. And then we have Surfing, and I don't know which Q, which yeah. skill she used, but uh, well, I would have to. This see is this is my own eyes. No one does this, but mm -hmm. I just want you. This might sound like a riddle, but tell me exactly when Seraphine uses her abilities. Look at all the information you have on your screen right now. Tell me when. I'll keep re replaying this part. All right. Uh, How do you solve this? Right about now. Oh, what are you basing I mean, that off of? Uh, proximity in uh, in the map. I if want you she, to look around I, I, the right side. Yeah. I I, I want I'm 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 guessing that when she's near Heimerdinger and she stops for a little moment, that's when he, she casts an ability. Okay, I like that you're using the icon. Let's uh mm -hmm. let's use some more information. What do, what oh, else do we have? Available? Her mana bar. Her mana oh bar. Oh my god, her mana bar. Yeah. When does she use it? Let's take. All a right. Look. Uh, let me let me see that again. Um, well, right now, right about now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, Oh, so, okay. so there are a couple of ways to get that information. We can either mm -hmm. literally look at her, or if we mm -hmm. don't want to and we're checking the map, we can just you know glance up really quickly. What's her mana at? You know, see if I'm doing this and I see I'm just gonna quickly look at the HP and the mana. It's like okay, mana well if, if her mana is maybe 60, 70 percent. Mm -hmm. if, if the next time I check it and it's lower, I know she used yeah. her abilities, right? Yeah. I'm not even looking at it. I'm gonna check it maybe right now. What's her mana? Ooh, it's forty percent. She used her abilities for sure. They must I would be on never board. have thought of that. No one, no one thinks of this shit, right? I'm just giving you an example of something that you could do if you don't want to actually look at, you know, the thing. I would infer that she used her Man. abilities on the Morgana's bind, but yeah. But there's a difference between inferring and assuming versus mm -hmm. literally knowing, right? Yeah. So how do we literally know? What are some ways? Right. Let's just keep repeating it. I mean. We know we can know exactly when she casts abilities. Right. We don't know mana. which abilities. Right. Um, but we can just look and right. we can just get the camera there. Right. So we're using a combination of literal data points. This you know, mm -hmm. she she hit the queue, the guy stopped moving, the icons move a certain way in mana, mm -hmm. and we're also using assumptions and inference. We're basing yeah. our decisions off of as much as possible our knowledge about the game and our experience, uh -huh. but also data points yeah this is a really this is like the the mathy it's a math game right to me it's a math game a little bit right and i fucking love this game that's yeah yeah it's great right when you, when you look at it so now maybe if we had mm -hmm. that sort of calculator in our head right this these sort of processes in our head going we'd be like oh heimer's dead it's, he's fucked right he got hit by the bind user yep. user abilities he's fucked i don't need to go there i'll just go to my crab i'll save six seconds yep right if you thought that the Belveth were there, you know, maybe mm -hmm. this hover would make a little bit more sense, right? And high elo, it makes a lot more sense to do something that lower elo players will think is suboptimal simply because high elo players do do some weird pathing just to give mix ups, right? But in yeah. platinum and diamond, people are just going to, if they make those plays, it's because they're, you know, they're fucking up, right? It's not intentional. So a lot of the times, yeah, it's better to do the optimal, like higher expected value play, you know? Like pros don't Yeah, bluff. there's, I guess that, I mean, it doesn't actually become like a mind game until you reach like higher levels because if if both sides if if both sides uh, know what optimal play is then maybe they can start mind games around yeah. that but if one side knows what optimal play is and the other side doesn't it's just 
you stick to optimal play. Yeah, to win. me, to me, it's like poker, right? Like, like pros do not yeah. bluff that fucking often at all. It's it, like poker is not yep. what people think. Like, is you know, it's in the movies and shit, right? Like, if they if they do bluff, it's like fucking hard, right? Like, it's like they go you know really into it and they're just trying yeah, to like fake them out. Like, I'm playing my range, but really I got like garbage, you know. So yeah, it's statistics, right? Right. So I would right. take it from the perspective of just like just play the best, like. The, the, the highest expected value even if it's like you know shit even if it's a shit play in general yeah. like I, at least i'm taking the best option out of them right yeah. so we'd be on this earlier also just don't jump right like like generally you don't really want to jump on yeah you wouldn't I, have to to begin with right but uh, uh, i yeah i wouldn't have to but i was so sure that belveth was topside mm -hmm. that i thought there was no oh, risk it, yeah. jumping in yeah i can see that so this that's why is, I literally said out loud, uh, what, the, what fuck? the fuck? <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? I would also I be remember like, what the literally fuck? saying it in, in my match. Uh, I remember saying, what the actual yeah. fuck? So let's think about it this way when we are looking mm -hmm. at this play. Let's see yep. the way in which we can react, okay? I'm going to get you to try to think of the optimal play here, and then I'm going to do the same thing where I ask you, how do you think we could have come to that conclusion in the middle of the game? And then we try to build that into a habit, okay? So, I mean the uh, yep. So right here, what do you think we should do? Um, I should ping Yasuo to come. Should I you? should. Um, Tell me why. All right, here I dodge. All right. Uh, I don't know if that's reactable for me, but let's assume it was. I should dodge. Okay. I yeah, should yeah, dodge maybe there. You should and, dodge, yeah. Yep. But and then, yep. What what does this frame right here tell us? Tell me everything that's going on. That she does not have smite. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's that's a very deep answer. How about some of the the more shallow points? Uh, shallow points. Um, I mean, she's pretty low, and she did a really weird clear. She has yep. blue. She has red. And uh, she has all of her um, Q charges up. Mm, that's good. Okay, that's good. Let's so just... there's no point in chasing. Not even with flash. Yeah, we don't have her jump. Yeah. So um, let's take a look at all those points again. What do you think is uh -huh. most important? We have HP. We have Q charges. We have smite. Mm -hmm. We have her buffs. What do you think is the most important right now? Her HP. Her obviously. HP. And then next? The next, it would be uh, her Q charges. Yeah, okay. I, I'm, I'm okay with this. In general, the HP here matters because if someone's going to fight you, yeah. right, you have to know if we can win the fight. And to begin with, we, can, yeah. we should almost always start with HP, at least in the early game. HP mm -hmm. is the most important. Even supports can fucking kill you. If you're like, yeah, this no, HP, right? I, I exactly. mean, that, that, that's a given. I remember thinking, yep. what the fuck is she doing fighting? Me? Yeah, what the fuck? I, I literally, for a second, I thought, why is she fighting me when she's so low? Right. It's Where's dumb. the support? Yeah, like, what the hell is going where, on? Where the fuck is the support? And then I remember, he's fucking dead. What the actual yeah, fuck? Yeah, we just yeah we just saw him, right? We just <laughs> yeah, saw but, him die. Yeah. But she was like so confident that I was like. Oh my god, I there's know. a Heimerdinger in that pixel yeah, boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got bluffed, bro. <laughs> you got bluffed. I got, I got bluffed you got accidentally. Bluffed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I bluffed myself. Yeah. I bluffed myself, yeah. And take a look at what happened. So, so in that, in that like one frame, we can hardly mm -hmm. get anything. We, you know, you're, you're thinking really well, right? You're thinking, oh, he doesn't have smite. He would have smited this. But all we need to care about is the HP. Mm -hmm. Here, I didn't even see the Q charges. I just noticed the HP. But uh -huh. I'm okay with chasing real quick in case he's still there. But the moment he dashes right here at 342. Yeah, yeah I should have quit it immediately. Right. How how do we know that? What are the three I don't, the I don't have my jump up. You don't have her jump I, up. I, she has one Q charge remaining. She has a Q and, to the left, yep. And uh, do I even have enough damage? Uh, I, I think I do because... Uh, you probably do. I, I have electrocute up. But you're but... first strike. Oh yeah, yeah, first strike. Sorry, she got the first strike on you. She got it's the good. first strike on me. Anyway, that's that's not even yeah. really important. What's the crucial it's just part? That I, 
I don't have my jump. You don't have your jump. That's yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's it. That... She put enough distance that you can't even catch up to her unless you have jump and flash. And even then, yep. she can maybe still dash away with one of her Q charges. At yep. 342, so, we should have been able to make no this point. decision. Yeah. We also knew that she just doesn't have her W because she just used it. Right? She has mm -hmm. her E, sure, but if she comes into E, this scuttle, we're killing her, right? Yeah. We're fucking killing her. So, <laughs> she has no smite, she has no W, she's running away. Let's see what happens. 342. Why am I chasing? Why am yeah. I chasing? Oh, I remember. I remember why I chased. And it's even worse. <laughs> um, I was thinking, yeah, maybe my W can, can slow her because I'm so used to <laughs> the both W. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? She can just dash again. Yeah, that's yeah. even worse. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's even so, worse. So, yeah, we establish like it's a knowledge issue, right? It's like, oh, yeah. you know, maybe I thought this. Plus, like, yeah, I, I was, hope, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't know what I was thinking. It's just that I wasn't thinking enough. That's right. it. I wasn't playing like consciously. Yeah. I mean, that's totally fine. So from here at three forty two, if we went towards crab, it might have taken us two seconds to get to it. Yep. So let's see how long it takes for us to. <laughs> <laughs> to get to that crab eventually. Holy shit. Holy oh, shit. Oh no, There's... it's resetting too. Oh. Yeah, it's resetting. So we touch it at 353, right? Yep. You know, give or take about 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. It's a 10 seconds. Oh, and the additional time hitting this. And and yeah, and it's resetting. Right. And then she hovers it again. Yeah. She's shown her map again. What Do we care about fuck? that though? This is No, I don't. No, I, I don't. Like if... this. Uh huh. You see what you do right here? I like this. Yeah, the fade away. Yeah, 404. Mm -hmm. Exactly, 404. You identify that Belpep is not a threat. 403, you move immediately to your crump. Yeah. Immediately. You oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 no, oh no. Yeah, I saw that. I saw her admit, and then I thought, maybe I should hover, because I remember thinking, this Belpep is a dumbass. Maybe she tries to gank. And then I thought, well, I've been hovering mid. No, pause that, pause that. I remember what exactly what I thought. I thought, oh my god, she's going for top scuttle. Yep. I can just kill her if I reach it in time. And I didn't. If I reach it in time. That's a really good thing to focus on. If I reach it in time. Okay, yep. let's go through that again. Yeah, that, How do that's we what know I was that thinking. we can't reach this, this crab? Um, let's just assume that to be the truth. Argument for and argument against uh uh the way i know it is uh if i've killed my scuttle she has plenty of time to have reached the other one and she since she's uh she's hit the the plant, yep. the plant we know where she is she, she is yeah i know uh we know and she's basically at this uh about the same dis distance i am but i had i walked back and yeah, she was just ahead of me, ahead of me. And I was thinking, I was thinking that maybe I could reach her at the right time to smite, steal it. But then again, that's hope. That's not that's the hope. way you should. Yeah, right. That's... So let's do it again. Let's do that thought process uh -huh. with data. Okay. This yeah. time we do it with data. All right, we're doing our. All grab. right. So she she has shown the moment she hits. She this, has we know. hit the plant. Yep. We and know where she is. I th yep. We know where she How is. How about our lanes? How about our lanes? How would we interact with our lanes in order to make sure we get the scrap? Which um, should we do if we want to I scrap? I should ping Yasuo because he has priority. Yeah. Where's, where's he Mother? Can, he can... Eh? Oh, he's missing. I didn't... Oh, shit. How is your top lanes wave? Yeah. No, he's pushed in. Good I didn't even that. think of that. I didn't even think of that for a second. Oh, there he is. He killed our Shen. Yeah. Don't you remember? Right. Who could who could come here first? Also, yeah, Mundo also, and Yasuo. Yep. Our smite timing. Is there any difference yep. between your smite and their smite? No, there shouldn't be. Unless. Unless. Uh, what rune? Uh, oh right, yeah. Um, cosmic insight. Cosmic Is insight. How do we check English? that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How do we check Dab. if they have? Tab. Yeah, tab. What, what's what's Dab, she got? And she, oh, and she has that. Yeah, she has it? that. Uh, Do I don't now? have it. You don't no, have I don't, it? No, I don't, I don't run Cosmic Insight. What'd you take instead? Approach Velocity? 
I think, it, yeah, because it synergizes with my W. Evolve. I, I would probably recommend uh, Cosmic Insight. Mm -hmm. It's it's all right. It's nostalgic. But that, I, I'm getting... Okay. So look, all right. We, we we just got that information. We we don't know exactly when the smite is, but you know the smite charges work the same for both junglers. You know she yep. probably you know she probably has cosmic insight plus boots. Otherwise, why? We're wasting a little mm -hmm. bit of time here. We should know that. Hey, if she goes to the top side, look at our smite cooldown. You think she has yeah. smite? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. She should probably she have smite it. around now, right? She probably didn't have a chance to use two smites because, well, you don't have two smites at this time, right? Yep. Because you only smited. Let's see. When did you smite? I sm let's see. I smite. Yep. I the... used it on Crux, and I used it on the blue. And you use the second one here. Yep. <laughs> okay, so she should probably have her smite up. Yep. Even if she used both. Right by the time you finish this, even yeah, if she, she even if she third used charge. Both, yeah, yep. the third charge is coming up, especially with the cosmic. So yeah, should have thought about that. We should have thought mm -hmm. about that. We should have checked tab. We should have checked inspiration. We should have thought about top laner state. Right. We should have thought about mid lane priority. Honestly, our mid lane could have intercepted the bell death, but mm -hmm. the enemy top laner because he killed the Shen, right? Yep. And he pushed us in. We don't see him on the wave on top, right? We know that he recalled, and he's gonna have priority here, right? Because he created the slow push. You know, kind of messed up by himself. And Chen is freezing, but you know mm -hmm. he is pushed in. Right, there are two perspectives there, and the Mundo could just come down the river. All right. Um, while we're at it, why is Cosmic Insight so valuable? Lower flash cooldown and smite cooldown. You can get it a little. All right. Better. And so you can right. you know you can do your trees, but it mattered a little bit more before when there's like Ember Knife and stuff. You needed to smite like five times something like that. But yeah, that, that <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Anymore. So what what I really want to know is is lower smite cooldown that important because lower flash cooldown of course is pretty important to me i like having smite up as much as possible not just for objectives but just clearing my shit fast okay yeah it, it, it's mostly for the uh for the flash I mean, for cosmics you probably don't care too much for jarvan you care about like eq flashing you know what i mean mm -hmm. um yeah. so it's like a stylistic choice all right yeah. so what's the so sorry if i yeah. 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 sorry if i keep asking like a lot of questions no, just that i really fine. want to know like <laughs> pretty much the reason behind everything no that's that's the exact point of coaching i am not bored right. i'm not this is not a waste of my time all right trust me i love doing this all right yeah, thank totally you totally fine yep so how could we come to this decision right let's see we finish this at 404 blah blah, blah. start walking mm -hmm. boom right here at 406 you decide to turn around you yeah, think we, we could have avoided this decision? Yeah, completely. Yeah, completely. What what data points do we need to use? Um, Mundo killed uh, Shen. Yeah, top priority. Uh, top priority. Uh, Belveth is ahead of me. Positioning. And me. she has a smite up. And her smite up. Yeah. So there's no way I'm catching right. that. Okay, four oh six. Let's take a look at how much time we spend. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, and oh, yeah, no, oh no, yeah, that's a disaster. We could have, done yeah, it and wrong. here I'm thinking of uh, rotating. What do you think? Where do you think the, the Bell Beth is? Uh, well, she had, I don't, I remember seeing, okay, I don't remember right now, but I think I get her CS in mind, his her his CS number in mind, yeah. And I was pretty convinced that she was pathing towards her her topside jungle. Yeah. So if you mm -hmm. see her, what does she mm -hmm. see? She sees me. She sees you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she knows. If, she knows. Uh, so she, yeah. if, if she sees you, what does Mundo see? She see, He sees me, too. Yeah, he could potentially yeah. see you, too, right? Yeah. Uh, you're in bronze. Maybe people don't see. But maybe yeah, but that's the... hope again. Yeah, that's hope again. Yeah, maybe Belveth told him. But he's fighting, and when and when he's fighting, there's a much higher chance that he hasn't noticed. So I decide to top How about uh, the bell to path top anyway. I wasn't thinking that Belveth was gonna come because it's not uh, he's pushed in. I mean, he is pushing, so there's no chance. I mean, okay, let's pause this for a minute yeah. to explain my thought process. Yeah, okay. First of all, uh, 
in the very last few frames of my vision, she was turning left, which tells me that she was going into her jungle. Right. Uh, let, let's play that back. All right. Yeah, I like that. I like that you're paying attention to where they're clicking. Okay, it's a little uh, bit neutral right. up. Yep. It's right. not exactly no. hard left. Uh, okay, let's keep playing it. Let me slow down. Oh, okay, she turned. There, yeah, that, there it that's is. That's a good thing to notice. She's pathing towards her jungle. And if she's pathing towards her... Remember, she had... Um, she when when I saw her, mm -hmm. she had level three. She had level three, yeah. Uh, blue, red, and uh, which tells me that she did grump. Did she? I was pretty sure because let's if she starts blue and gets the red, the only way that she could be level 3 if she did either Grump or Crux. How much CS so, did she have? Do you remember? Oh, oh yeah, she had 20. Oh, that's she, perfect. She had 20, exactly. She had 20, so she did uh, 5 camps. She did 5 camps. Yeah, I, I don't know what I, what I, why I thought that, but I remember thinking that. Let's go back. This I remember, I remember thinking, well, uh, she has skipped her wolves. So well, I was convinced that she was pathing towards her wolves. Mm -hmm. But I cannot be... Uh, maybe it was just a vibe. <laughs> you know? It was a vibe. You got a vibe, yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is, I, I this had is a, a I had really, that vibe. really good moment here. Yeah, I'll show you. So th this is how much information you have to be able to intake and process all at once. Yeah, she had 20 CS. At that 20 moment. CS. How do and... we know which buff she started? Don't tell me about assumptions. Uh, tell me about how we can. No, 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 no. She started. She started red because that's the one that's about to run out. Perfect. The one that's about to run out is the one that she started, right? Yep. How do we know that? We click on her. We click her. Did you click on her here? No, I didn't. Uh, didn't. I was, I was looking at my I'm at my buff bar, and I <laughs> noticed the red running out, and I. And I mistook it for Belveths. Right. Let's see. Let's see her buffs here. Her blue right. ran out. So she, her blue ran out. So, so she, she did, started red, yeah. actually. No, no, no. Oh, right. Wait, her blue, who blue, her blue ran out. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got confused. Yeah. Her blue ran out, ran out, so she started blue. Her blue yeah. ran out, and she has 20 CS, and she showed up on the bot side at 330. Yep. So what camps it, she means, uh, it means that... So, oh, really quickly, I'd like you to count. I would like you to say the name of the camp, and then I'd like to, you to say the number of CS she has after that. All right, so uh, blue, four, uh, grump, uh, eight, uh, wolves, 12. Uh, I would say raptors, uh, 16, and red, 20. Yes. Yes. How do we figure that out retroactively? I mean, if what she started, just... if she started on her blue, the most logical path is just to just clear ground. Yep. Yep. And it's we, a full clear. And we have tab, and we yep. saw that the blue ran out, and yep. we could also click her right to check yep. if her we blue didn't run out. You could click her to see the duration. Yep. Right. Given all that information, given all that information, uh, what I think is that her grunt respawned. Did it? <laughs> Oh, my my crocs respawned, so mm -hmm. that's good. Uh, Do you know how long it takes? Same timing. Yep. To to respawn. Um, takes two minutes and fifteen seconds. And fifteen seconds. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. So if that's a good gauge of it, if your crocs, you know, respawn, her grumps probably respawned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what I was thinking. I was thinking. Um, but you, she's. Yep. You got the right answer. The mm -hmm. wrong way. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, like, yeah. like we yep. figured out that she's on the ground because we did it in reverse. We did her clear in reverse, and we're thinking, uh -huh. "Oh shit, okay." Now we realize it's a second grump. Does the second does exactly. a grump being the second grump make a difference? Yeah, it gives more more uh, HP. Uh, takes more time. Yeah, yeah, more yeah. XP. Yep. And more, yeah, yeah. But <clears throat> her positioning is the same. She's on the top side. She saw yep. you. She could tell the Mundo she, that. She could rotate. Yeah, she could tell Mundo yeah. that. How about the how about the wave state? Um, 
it's not great for me to gank them. Not too uh, great. There's no, there's a lot of minions there. Yeah. Let's think about the fifth factor. Let's think about our teammates' abilities. Uh, I saw. Oh, okay, can you play that back? Just, just a few seconds. This is the power of penning the camera. Actually, this is really good. We could also use right, the mana bar, so, right? For Shen. Yep. All right. Shen, Shen used uh, his taunt. Yeah, his taunt's like really his long. His W. Time. Yeah, it's like twenty seconds or something. Yeah. So realistically, are we getting on this guy? No. If he didn't want to die, he didn't have to die here. Yeah. But yeah, he. No, uh, oh. What, oh. Uh, what the actual? Uh, all right. Maybe. Yeah, all right. Ah. Uh, what? All right. Just refresh it. Yeah. Let's refresh. All right, we were a six forty, I think. Nope, six twenty. Just a little bit earlier. <laughs> Maybe it was five forty. Oh, here we go. All right. Yeah. So, so this gank works out, but we can establish no, that but it efficient. shouldn't have. It shouldn't have. Right. But and he's level five. I could have died there. Mm, he might not have been able to kill you. Also, this jump is a bit short. Leap is 700 yeah. units. It's a little bit further than uh -huh. Flash. You can definitely put your mouse far away. This is why I don't have the rock screen okay. too much. Sometimes uh, you got to be a little bit more precise with your mouse. Mm -hmm. If he okay. wanted to, he probably could have just kept walking. But he went for the skill here. Yeah, and... You have to Flash. No, you don't. Oh, you have to Flash. Ooh. Yeah, I have Flash, right. but that... Was so, a clown fiesta, yeah, so, and that shouldn't have worked. Right. I'm not too worried about the mechanics and the execution of it because mm -hmm. it's like you know we could backseat it all day, but it's mostly no, just like what I'm worried is that I took exactly what I told you. I made a bad decision, but right. it turned out okay. Right. And now I know it was a really bad call. Right. One way we could have done this properly is we could have thought mm -hmm. about so so I like leading you down a certain narrative, get you to think about it, but I'm gonna give you a counter argument to what I just said, which is mm -hmm. oh, it's kind of a bad gank. On the one hand, yes, you know, the Belveth yep. knows I'm here and you know she could easily counter gank, but I'm also higher HP than her, and we just saw her hit this. This is something I didn't mention to you. Did you notice this detail? Uh, the what plant. You, the plant. Yep. Right here. Does it see us? Uh, nope. No. So she didn't actually go into the river bush to hover. She could She could still go to the river bush and hover, right? Yeah. So while we're walking to this gank, first mm -hmm. of all, don't path up here if we're going to go over the gank. What should we do as we're walking into this gank? Where should our camera be? It should be... The, all right. Maybe you got to be... check both places at once, right? Right, right. It's a it, this. This is a qu trick question, so I'm just gonna answer it. You need to look at the wave state. You need to look at them. Mm -hmm. You also have to factor in the you know that he doesn't have taunt and the HP on the Shen, but also you have to check below you, dude. What if the guy yeah. you know? What if he comes out here? What if he comes out? Yeah, that would have been a double kill for that Belveth. Bad. <coughs> yep. You jump on this guy. Belveth comes in, fights you in the wave or something. Shen's like 300 HP. You might not die. You could flash out, but she could definitely. Yeah, but it. still, still terrible. Yep. Right. So what I'm doing here is. I'm saying the gank, eh, you know, it's maybe not the best, but if we're going to do the gank to begin with, at least we have to be as prepared as we can. We factor in the yep. Shanazo taunt. We know that the Belbeth just hit the, you know, the plant. We have to be aware mm -hmm. of her positioning. We know that she's about 60, 70% HP, probably going to heal up with a red buff. And we know that she could potentially be here. Our pathing should be instant. We shouldn't go towards the top here. We should go immediately yep. left to cut off. Watch the bush, watch the Mundo, right? Check our isolation. Look at our EXP. Maybe we could smite a minion. Right, we can maybe smite a, a caster. You know, hopefully absorb some exp. That caster just died on the right. You know, yeah, and get, get level EXP. four. Smite the cannon. Smite the cannon. Get level four. Get a little bit extra damage. All these things we could do immediately if we were more experienced. So I'm just gonna point them out that we could do this. Okay. Uh, uh, talking about uh, speaking about the cannon. Um, mm -hmm. does it give more exp? Because it clearly gives more gold. But does it give more exp than regular minions? I I, I believe it does. All right. Yeah. It's uh it's like casters give the least and then melees give more and then mm -hmm. the, the cannons will give the most, I believe. All let right. Me, let me check that right now just to make absolutely sure. Let's just make it. Oh, I can check that too. Um All right. Yeah, it does. It does. All right. Good to know. Yeah, that's why like uh we have breakpoints like um the third Cannon minion and solo lane will give you yep. level six, right? Something like that. I, just, I had to make right. sure, right? <laughs> you know, data. It's it's a math game, right? So, mm -hmm. <coughs> smite the cannon. 
It's funny because it's something that people would know intuitively, but uh oh wait, 14 XP right here. Nice, it hovers. You have combat text on 14 XP, yeah. Maybe if you smited, you know, even though you're sharing, yeah, could have gotten yeah. six. Nice dodge here. Right, you're pathing, you're pathing here. Where do you think <coughs> where do you think he's going to go at this moment? Uh, he flashed yeah, away. I should have I should uh paced uh, uh path straight um, this click here. towards the bushes um, actually in the bushes direction right like i should have cut him off not walked towards him right this whole top right section he's not moving there right if he does yeah. you, you know you you have him dead or or is it because that's a pretty huge wave maybe if he no, he's stuck dead. in there he would have killed us no he, he, unless he has belvet like you, you have him you, you definitely have him all right Yeah, even without isolation, you can kill him with just autos. Yep. Right. So, do you see what we just did right there for like the past twenty minutes? We we explored, yeah. you know, the responses. We we used our eyes to like you know look at what's mm -hmm. going on. We the good. We saw the taunt. We saw the W go down. Right. Yep. What, what you'll notice in the chat here as well. It's another detail. You'll see. This is good by the Shen. I like the Shen right here. Look what he did. Yeah. My ease in four seconds. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, especially. And I didn't. Even, yeah. I didn't even see it. Yeah. Yeah. I could have waited. Yeah, all these details. I mean, if we could play the game in like point two speed, you know, we can maybe yeah. have more time to think about. But you see how like we have to absorb all of this immediately. Check the map. Check the Belveth. Is she in this fucking bush? Is she hovering this gank? Oh yep. shit! You know. Yep. Yeah, if I were this Belveth, I would have just hovered this gank one time instead of doing Gromp. Just so that, you know, Mundo can complete the push. This is more macro, right? Basically, if the wave's in this sort of state... Yeah, he needs to crash it. Yeah, he needs to Otherwise crash it. Otherwise, he gets yeah. frozen, frozen on. Yeah, and, it's yep. possible to freeze this. You know, it depends on MET, uh, having TP and stuff. This wave is pretty much crashed, right? It's going to go in. But I want to make sure my Mundo doesn't die for that. If I'm Belveth, I'm sitting right here. I'm sitting oh, right here. I'm oh, killing a lane your gank. Shen. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm killing your Shen 100%. Lane ganks are one of... Okay... This is gonna sound super scrubby, but yeah. I never do those because they involved a lot. They involve a lot of waiting. So when I see a lane gang, <laughs> it feels like a really special thing. <laughs> you know, you could you could say so. Um, yeah, they they involve a lot of waiting, and you have to really know your shit to know when you can afford to wait that long. You do exactly. You do have to know your shit, but man, are they powerful! Holy yeah. fuck, it is like. How fucked were you guys if if Belveth just comes out here, kills yeah. Shen, and then stands on yeah. the Mundo? Yeah. Right? Stands on the Mundo and just slaps you, right? Maybe gets yeah, like we a. We would be fucked six ways to Sunday, yeah. Yeah, especially with the way in which you played this. Like, if you didn't have isolated Qs, it would have been kind of tough killing this guy. He also yep. killed his. He, he also sacked his own HP by Qing and stuff. Like, oh, yeah. This would have been a way tougher gang for sure. Yep. yep. If, like, he's in this bush right here, I guess let's just measure the time, right? <laughs> she yeah. definitely like after hitting the spine she definitely could have path around even yep. just into the lane through the river and sat in yeah that yeah place. she could have yeah and we wouldn't have seen her we wouldn't know yeah because like if i'm playing Kha'Zix here in a high low game mm -hmm. my immediate assumption is dude what the fuck is this mundo doing he must have his jungler behind him but obviously we're yeah. in bronze and he's like you know to me this like him walking up this is him baiting he's baiting me yeah. so fucking bad i am yeah. never touching this yeah. yeah, which is uh, another point of contention, really, because you do have to play different when you're playing yeah. in bronze. Yeah, then. Yeah. and I'm but, totally fine with that. I'm not going to encourage you to do like every single theory play. There are I times know, where you can stress it. I, I know, yeah. but uh, I like to give my opponents respect because it, <laughs> yeah, I think it exactly. builds good habits. It does, right? it does, it does. It absolutely does. So what I'd recommend is mm -hmm. if you're going to make these sort of plays and don't exempt yourself from being able to make these plays, if you're going to do them, at least perform them to the best ability, which is what yeah. I try to get you to do by... Yeah, there were the bush, a lot of optimizations yeah. outside of... Exactly. Outside of making a bad call, you can make right. a bad call with... Optim better mechanics. Op yeah, optimally, you, you yeah. You could just have better mechanics. mechanics. Yes, yep. exactly. So so don't be afraid to make these plays. You know, yeah, like it's a grind game. You don't have to play theory every time. You could just test limits, you know. So. I know, but I enjoy knowing <laughs> it. So... Yeah, yeah, you could do both, right? Yep. <coughs> Sorry. All right. So now I back up and I buy both Dirk and uh, Ooh, and a tier. tier. 
I really like Man Immune on on Kazix. Yeah. Sorry. He becomes an entirely different beast, in my opinion, with yeah, more money. Max. Uh, I, in my case, it's not because of that. It's just that his passive autos uh, benefit from both passives of Muramana. Um, okay. And that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Like, uh, it makes it so that you don't rely as much on on isolation. Mm-hmm. But anyway, any case, I am pathing straight up towards Mundo because my reasoning is. He spent Flash. He spent TP. If we get him right now, he is so fucked. But he kills Shen. He levels up, and <laughs> yep, that happens. Yeah. Okay. I like I like the reasoning. You know, we could <coughs> we could fuck him on the wave. He has to push it in. You know, but we're not paying attention to one detail. What do you think? We didn't pay attention Again, to enough. Shen used his. E and he's really his HP, low. yeah. It's rough. I think Mundo might have taken a tower shot here. You need to pan your camera and make sure you're looking at it. Yep. Especially. Oh, he did. It's really rough. Yep, he took a tower shot and. Yep. Right. Shen probably could have played this better. He probably could have, you know, seen yeah, but... if you pinged. Yeah, right? but that, that doesn't concern me. Right. This entire. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't concern you. So, what you could have done. 525, maybe you ping. Looks like you make the decision to go top around around here. Yep. 533, you go. Yeah, I should gank top, but you don't even look at top until 538. Mm-hmm. How are you making this decision without even looking, right? You don't, yeah. know, you don't really know the exact looked. wave state. Yeah, if, if I had looked, I, w- I would have thought, no way, Shin is really low. Yeah, it's slow pushing towards him. We have TP. Right. Yep. So I wanna, uh, I wanna get some no, food but, in a moment. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, there was another part of me that okay, thought, yeah. I don't know if I wanna go for the unlikely gank or um, or go bottom. And I thought to myself, well, uh, my crux uh, are. Sp- it was a wrong um, reasoning, but I thought when in doubt. Just clear the same way you started, yeah, so yeah. that so that you know it's the camps spawn at an optimal rate. But it's a moot point because my bot camps also respawn. But that was my thought process. That when in doubt, go to just farm. Yeah, you can do either. Yeah, yeah. you can do either Anyways, side. Right? Uh, <laughs> I cancel an auto there. Yep. Um, Let your let your pet kill that. And the reason why yep. is because your Q is going to come up by the time your pet kills this thing. Yep. Small details. Uh, were there any other um, questions about this in particular? I think within the first six minutes, we've identified so many random things that we could pay so attention to. So many random things. And that's something that you can start uh, working on yep. already, right? Yep. Yep. Would you like to just summarize maybe some of the things that, let's say three things that you would want to focus on um information gathering that's uh that's key and information processing and (laughs) then uh optimizing my clear so that i can commit it to muscle memory and uh, focus more on information gathering Mm -hmm. and then uh gank execution yep so I would say the biggest thing is like, mm-hmm. if you ever find yourself in a moment where you're thinking, fuck, I don't know what to do. You've already lost at that point because you should have had time. You should have been spending the time thinking about your next move. You know, mm-hmm. every every step of the way, right? I'm doing raptors. Okay, I'm going to do wolves next. After wolves, what am I going to do? Uh, Grom, right. okay. Oh, something just happened. I'm going to look at it. You know what I mean? This sort of thing, if you ever consciously recognize that you don't know what to do, You've mm-hmm. already made a mistake in the 30 seconds prior. Oh, that's that's Oh, that's really that's a powerful yeah. tool for yeah. learning. All right. Yeah, can... you got to think of it that way. You're yeah, making no, a mistake. Yeah, yeah, and that allows me to learn by myself because if I don't yeah, you know, 
exactly. it helps me exactly with what I wanted you to help me with, which is I cannot recognize my own mistakes. But this helps a lot. Perfect. Right? I'm, I'm honestly glad you said that because that's the whole intention behind coaching, right? <laughs> it's like, ideally, you know, you, you give someone the tools to learn by themselves, mm -hmm. right? So if you, if you don't know what to do, it could be a multitude of things, right? It could be like in the middle of the game, 25 minutes in, it's a little bit harder to understand what to do, right? Okay. But I'll just give you an example where like even 25 minutes in the game, like if you don't know what the fuck to do, like you're making a mistake. Let's say Dragon's coming up in a minute 30. Okay, well, we yep. should know that we should ideally be prepared about a minute beforehand. Okay, one minute 30, mm -hmm. I'll clear camps. I'll recall for eight seconds. I'll come back into the map at 50 seconds. I'll ping my support. I'll go, you know, sweep in those 50 seconds, and then we can maybe do the dragon with proper vision. It's like, there's no reason you shouldn't have known that a minute 30 beforehand, but some players will yeah. go in 20 seconds before dragon, like, oh, fuck, I need a recall. You know what I mean? It's and, like, oh, you've already made a mistake. And I am some players. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So do it ahead of time. You know, take the time. I would start with optimizing the clear. Get the yep. raw mechanics of clearing your camps down so you don't even have mm -hmm. to look. That way you can spend yeah. more time thinking. Yeah, I think, I okay. think yeah. So I, I, you know, track. We tracked the jungler. We tracked, uh, like, you know, your, our teammates' abilities. We looked at all those things. I wouldn't try to do all of them at the same time, one at a mm -hmm. time. You get to choose. I would recommend work on the clear. After mm -hmm. you work on the clear, now you can think about, uh, on a basic level, of jungle tracking. You can say I'm mirrored with my opponent. Okay. Some key mm -hmm. notes would be like, if you ever see your opponent, tab, check their HP, check uh, CS. You know check their buff right something like that yeah for the most part think about what you want to do ahead of time when things come up like the enemy jungler you can check them then but so clear basic jungle tracking mm -hmm. cs hp stuff like that right also when you go for ganks think about those those factors that we talked about the checklist you know good hp oh, right. mana i will positioning cooldowns okay that way we don't go for hopeful ganks Mm -hmm. and then You're, just you know default to clearing if you you know you don't have a good gank or something right like, <laughs> that kind of shit good okay that's uh that gives me a lot to work with already yeah i this is a great first session dude like oh i, I really enjoyed it a lot yeah i, like, I a lot i think this is good progress um mm -hmm. you know we could check in again you know, maybe mute the mute the music so it doesn't block it um, <laughs> yeah that, yeah that would be great yeah. All right. And uh, you don't mind me putting this out like within a day or two? Of course not. Yeah. Why okay. would I? Yeah. Gotcha. Sure thing. Gotcha. All right. I think this would be great. And I'm also going to upload the other guy's coaching first. And you'll see how I'm doing the exact same thing that I did here for you. Right. But for like right. a master's player. And they're still doing the same shit. You know what I mean? So I'm not, not to flame him. I'm just saying like these mistakes are universal. I'm just trying to get people into the right mindset. No, and and I mean when when the, when when people say that even diamond or masters players don't get the basics, it's just that they are basic things, but they're not easy. They're not easy to like do they're all at easy. once. Yeah. No, not at all. Yeah. Okay. Right. This has been a great session for me. I'm glad. I'm glad. I, I hope. Uh, I mean, yeah. Give me some feedback if you have any. Honestly, like. Uh, did I go uh, on too long? Did I not explain some things correct? Nah, not for me. I like to go in depth. Like, okay. yeah, I like to really get into the thick of things and yeah. understand it completely. Dude, I want too. there to be no gaps in my understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> because if, if I feel like there's a gap, uh, then I start doubting everything. I need to know all the steps all the logic behind everything when people you know when <clears throat> i don't want to flame but there are very popular channels and guides on youtube especially mm -hmm. that tell you on oh, this situation you should push your wave you should freeze it but they don't tell you why they don't tell you why they don't get you into the mindset <laughs> of thinking about exactly, how you came exactly. to that conclusion that's exactly. the benefit of my coaching in my opinion you know if i get to brag i i you know, I'm a fucking nerd. Like, I will, I'll annoy people all day. I'll be like, why, 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 how, how, how do you know that, right? Et cetera, et cetera. And I think yeah. that's really effective. Yeah, and I am a huge nerd too. So I, 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 that's <laughs> why I especially like your coaching because of that. I need to know all the details. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's, thank you. That was great.
I'm glad you enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, uh, feedback. Uh, if I had to give feedback, yeah, no, I don't know. It just it works perfectly for me. It does it might not work for someone else, but this is exactly what I wanted. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if I'm coaching you, I'm gonna tailor it towards you, obviously. Yep. I don't care what others right. might say. Okay. So, are we off the record now? Uh, here, I'll just end the recording. Thank you for right. watching. If you're here, I hope you guys enjoyed.